Oh, strapping with our snab, you say? Greetings to you, patron. I am Mistress Janine, proprietor of this pleasure tent. If you are intent on hiring a companion and taking advantage of our services, you have come at a poor time. The genies that have come to our poor town have deprived almost everyone of coin. I have had to send most of my girls away for lack of customers. All they have left is this... this Wilfred fellow. He claims to have killed the dragon, which is far from likely. My girl tells me the man is built like a pair of twigs and couldn't lift a sword, never mind wield one. But he has coin, at least, unlike every other soul in this town, and he's hired my last girl, Anna Lynn, for his exclusive use. Sorry to disappoint. That's rather odd. Hi. A pleasure to meet a socially acceptable person such mm. as yourself. Hmm. Sorry, my lord. My time is currently purchased up by the boar who claims to have killed the dragon over there. All he does is tell me how his stupid story over and over. Hmm. Well, let's hear this story. Oh, friend. Welcome to the Tent of Pleasure, haha! -ha. I've been here for over a week myself, and I can tell you that the prizes are well worth it. Who are you? The name is Wilfred. Wilfred the Red of Luskin. Although I'm sure you've probably heard of me. Heh. <laughs> Adventurer extraordinaire, and currently living off the excesses of my recent thunder. Come on, what about now? Let's kill! It's quite a story. A tale for the ages, you might say. You wouldn't happen to be a bard, would you? Well, I'd be happy to regale you with the story anyway, if you're willing. Well, I'm listening. Great. So anyway, there I was traveling through the Troll Hills, right? I come across this large cavern, warm steam coming out of it and the forbidding smell of brimstone and such. A dragon, I think to myself. And being Wilfred the Red, the Great Adventurer, I walk in and challenge the dirt beast. Thirty feet high he was, with a wingspan easily three times that. Red as blood and eviler than a cockatrice in May. I slew the beast naturally after a valiant struggle. A few minor scorch marks were all I suffered for failing the beast and its horde was mine. More gold than you could possibly imagine. Too bad I was by myself at the time. I could only gather as much gold as I could carry. Still, it was enough to make me plenty wealthy. Plus, it was a good deed, which is my forte. That's very impressive. I know, isn't it? But don't take my word about this place. Talk to Mistress Xi'an and experience for yourself. This is the place to be if you've got coin to spare. Well, I've got to go. Hmm. Well, it's about time that moron finally left. He's given me such a headache, all I want to do is sleep. I'm taking some time off of this racket. Um, yep, yeah, she says the same thing. Uh, my last girl, Anna Lynn, has requested a break now that the Wilfred fellow is finally gone. I can't thank you enough, by the way, so I'll have to see if I can find a replacement or two. Until those genies are gone, however, I'm not sure any of the girls will even want to come back. Ah, well, the life of the madam, hmm? Oh. I'll take your word for it. I okay. wouldn't dream of refusing. How do we get back into the town? Oh, wow, it's nightfall now. Well, now that it's nightfall, I doubt uh, the market will be open. You might have to head to the pub and hope they actually... What the? Oh, hey, animals! Oh no, what is it? It's a dire wolf rotten carrot! It's phobia kicks in. Ah! Nicely done. Just name what you want. Alright, more evil animals fend it off. Ah uh, no, they're probably not evil. They're just confused and upset. Either way though, oh god, now it's at night, but it's raining as well. Alright, I think they said the pub was over here, somewhere. Is that where it was? Yeah, the pub. Alright, so let's go to the pub and stay the night. Nobody wants to go traipsing about in the rain. Of course! Well, this place seems comfy enough. Friend. Somebody saying, what? No! No! A ball spawn! Here! Wait, slow down. Who are you? No, no, not after all this time. I won't. Ah, ah, not again! What the hell? What the hell was that? V Kang, and he just freaking exploded. He knew we were a ball spawn, freaked him out, and then he said not again, and he blew up. Uh huh. Moving right along then. Hey, sex 
see. Do you want to take a look at me, Diddy? Not right now, thanks. Hmm. You're probably working for those druids and have come to kill us all, haven't you? Well, I suppose if Vyatri's willing to serve you, I can too. Huh. Alan Nina. Excuse us. Oh, I guess we'll have to come back later when this person is no longer in our way. I would Let's talk to some of the locals that actually have names. Is it important, peasant? You seem like an agreeable enough sort of man. But with these attacks on the town, one can never be sure. I'd rather we did not speak. Damn snobs. Top of the day to you. There's this one time, my party and I were traveling through the Elven Woods down in Zethir. We got drunk with a whole group of bells. Hmm. Yeah, that seems plausible. That could definitely happen. Is there anyone else here important enough to talk to? Bloke can't walk five feet these days without someone hitting him up. You be a stranger, sir. I'll tell you quick that we don't be trusting strangers here any longer. Well, fine then. You are welcome in my sight. Greetings, strangers. I play what melodies I can to calm the folk of this town, but the tell truthfully does not an easy task. The fear here fills the air like a sickness. Aw. That's sad. All right, well, let's talk to the old innkeep here. Never had rats. No, sir. Greetings to you, strangers. We don't get many travelers here with the troubles and all. I'll be happy to offer you a room, but you'll best keep yourself as low profile as possible. I don't want any trouble here. What do you know about what's going on here? About as much as you do, I'd expect. The inn's been pretty quiet since the attack started gearing up at first. There was just some odd occurrences. A bear attack, some hungry wolves and the like. Since then, there's been masses of creatures that have assaulted the walls, and the militia can barely keep up. People have been getting quite out of hand with their fear. There's been stories of hooded figures amongst the animals, and everyone thinks that means the druids have turned against right, us. listen, Beefy. I may be an intelligent sword, but I've had no formal education. Shut up, Lilacor. Don't know why. We've always gotten on well enough with the grove. But there's no explaining that to folks. Not when their lives are in danger. They saw a druid during the last attack and would have stoned him to death had Lord Copreth not arrested him. He might be dead yet, but people have their way. I don't know what Lord Copreth is going to do with him, or how long he can keep up with these attacks. People will start leaving soon, I think. Hmm. Have any supplies for sale? I can't say that I do, but then I can't say that anyone does around here. If Joaquin were alive, she'd be sad to see a state that trade meets come to. The goddess had established trade me to be a place of fair business only, where shady deals were punished and such. No thieves, no liars, no fraud. No, we not only have thieves here, but a group of genies have camped outside the gates and swallowed all the local business. Bribed all the caravans, I understand. No end to their gold, and they charge an arm and a leg for a loaf of bread, so the town's being starved out, you see. Joaquin would have stopped them. Now, not even Lord Copreth can do anything. And what else do you know about what's going on around here? Oh, he already said that. Never mind. I'd like to see your services, please. Well, there isn't much to be had around right now. But you're welcome to some ale and a clean room. I certainly have lots of room. Lots of them available right now, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, I'd say we should get a drink. Maybe some Westgate wine. You've had three wolf attacks in the last week and two huge black bears thundering through the streets before that. Those druids will pay. Did you hear us out of some wine? Maybe Mazzy will have some Serlunian wine. Old Lady Adratha, who lives near the grove and sells potions, hasn't been heard from in some time. Probably killed by the druid beasts. Huh. Maybe Yan will have some Serlunian wine. Let's see, Yoshimo probably has expensive taste. He'll have some Evermead. With Joaquin, our patron goddess of trade, gone, it's open season in the markets. Corruption is everywhere. Alright, I'd say we've done enough of that. I'd say we could rent a room, then. Alright, we don't really need to rest, but it's night and it's raining, so why not? The night passes uneventfully. Oh, yes! Anything back here? Oh, just the kitchen. Da -da 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 -da. Your omnipresent authority figure. What are your commands now? Um. Are you talking to me, Jahira, or are you talking to Carrot? Jahira, there's a level of sarcasm in your tone that is perhaps unnecessary. We have a leader that honestly tries to anticipate our needs. Hmm, so he's just talking to Mazzy. Cheers, mouthing off to Mazzy. Hmm. What would Carrot say to this? I mean, you're basically either agreeing with Jahira or 
questioning Mazzy. Um, honestly tries to anticipate our needs. Hmm. What do you mean, Mazzy? Excuse me. Carrot is a good leader, and it's difficult enough to keep the group together. Perhaps you could be more constructive and less... Bitchy, Jahira says. Whoa. That is how you wish to put it? Yes. Worry not for the feelings of Carrot, small one, as he and I go far back and have an understanding of sorts. As you will. It was only a humble suggestion. I have no wish to intrude upon your relationship with Carrot. Yikes. Something you need. Well, I don't think Carrot really has uh, anything to worry about as far as J when, as long as Jahira is around. Yikes. Just as I thought! She can practically be like a pit bull sometimes when it comes to that kind of thing. Alright, well, uh, what should we do now? We've already kind of explored down here. We could go to the mayor's house, we could go to the market, the temple. We don't have any business there. We could go to the smithy. We could go check out the Fenton home. I think I'll kind of do it like this. I'll start at this end of the market, work my way around, come up this way, visit the Fenton home, the smithy, the temple of Joaquin, and then I eventually end up at the mayor's house. I think that's how I want to do it. Alright, so I believe the market we can enter from here. Alright, anyone doing business here? Hmm. You certainly aren't from around here, are you? Stay away from me! How do I know you're not working with those druids? You're out to kill us all, I bet! <laughs> Strangers should not just stay away, I think! Alright. Oh, nasty peasants. There he is! Ah, strangers, strangers! As long as you're not the dancing. Greetings, patron. Not local, eh? Be careful around here. People won't be pleased to see you what were the animal attacks and all. Tell me more about these animal attacks. You don't know about the attacks. I assume the militia would have told you. Ah, no matter. Indeed, trade meat has been under attack for weeks. Hungry wolves, we thought at first. A bear wandering too close to town. My brother-in-law was nearly mauled by a jaguar while traveling through the woods. But it started to happen more and more. Animals came in packs, and even the plants arrived and grabbed at us. Awful it is. There's a dark force at work here. Most blame the druids of the local girl, but I don't know. We've always gotten along fine with them before. But they haven't come to deny the charge, either. In fact, a druid was seen during an attack, controlling the animals, or so they say. They arrested him, sure enough. The entire town's expecting a hanging. They arrested a druid? Where would he be? We don't keep many prisoners here, but the ones who have are usually kept in the High Merchant's Manor. Until they're sent to a cotton, that is. A High Merchant? Yep, that would be Lord Logan Copern, brother of the Lady of Ritavin, herself. He's the Mayor of Trademian and a good man, so I hear. So why would people be frightened of me, then, if they suspect the Druid Grove of all this? People aren't sure who's behind all this evil. They suspect the Druid Grove, but they see spies and dark magic everywhere. I'm just saying be careful. Oh, I'd like to see your services, then. Sorry. Since those Dao Jinnis arrived, none of the merchants have been able to get supplies. And trade me, it's almost out of food. Oh, alright, then. Be careful on the street, sir. You never know when these creatures will attack. The correct way to approach life is to accept its travails. One must bend as the willow and see the obstacles that the gods place in front of you as challenges to be overcome. Hmm. Don't be moronic. You must struggle. Through struggle we grow stronger. Only the strong survive. And I am not your brother. Strength comes through wisdom and pliance. One must be flexible to accept the things that come. Struggle only brings fertility, my son. Struggle and adversity bring strength, not futility. War and violence weed out the weak and unhealthy, strengthening all. And I am not your son. War and violence are the recourse of the weak-minded, my friend. When they occur, it is a result of failure rather than success. Bah, let me show you what comes of that philosophy, friend. Huntley? Yeah, boss? Show him what becomes of his philosophy. Right, boss. I hope you know I'm only being proven correct here. Mince is saying, He attacks? Such a display of wrongness fills even Pooh with disgust. For my hamster, I must land a blow for goodness. Away with you. 
yeah, I would definitely say Carrot is not going to let this guy be attacked right in the middle of the city. But is there a way I can restrain them? Uh, maybe hold a monster? We have to, they have to be uh, enemies first, so let's just try to attack. Let's see. I believe this is the philosopher being attacked. And that's Wallace, he's not involved. But yeah, it's this Huntley guy we've got to stop. I am. So everybody go after him. Vince obviously is getting Don't want my sword while you can, I I won't be as gentle. Obviously we wouldn't, uh, as he would jump in. Who else? Where the hell is Yoshimo? Yoshimo, blast that guy. Fleet of foot and all that. Ready Garrett and is uh, maybe gonna try to uh, magic missile him. This is boring. I'll give it that. Be gone, Connor. Damn, we're too late. Well, now I suppose you were right after all. Dead right. Ha <laughs> ha. But uh, get the last word. Come on, let's go. There is no way we're gonna let you walk away from this, you bastard. been this pleased with a group of folks since the Cormirian sent the price of turnips through the roof during the onion famine. Damn. What a mess. We tried to save that guy's life, but we weren't fast enough. And the poor guy died for it. What a waste. I need a swig of some strong dwarven ale. Alas, my friend, I'm afraid I have no wares to show you. The cursed genies have taken over all our trade meets and mercantile enterprises. Perhaps another time. Well, I guess we're not going to be buying or selling anything. This is a dangerous life you seem to lead at this scene. I wonder if you always think it would be so. Hmm. I think the most honest response to this, as Jahira mentions this to Carrot, would be, I do not think of the future much. Not at all. There must be some planning in place eventually. What happens when age begins to take you? Even I know it will happen eventually. Have you given any thought to this? <laughs>